Um, hello. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to um, to make um, an easy web request and get its response and show it. So, okay. So um, this is the PHP script that we will use. So it check if the um, post user and post pass is set, and then it show in it echo the user and pass. Okay. So this is the PHP script. Uh, I upload the scripts on my web server. So turn the coding that info slash web request post dot php. Okay. So the C sharp code. So okay, here we're going to add a, a button and two ch uh, two text boxes. So button, button submit, and two text boxes. First text boxes and second text boxes. Okay, so um, resize the form and center the controls like that. Then we're going to add a click event handler to the bottom, so click and and this in event handler we're going to um, call the method. So submit data. Then we're going to create this method, so private void submit data. Okay, here we're going to um, write a try and catch that catch statement. So and if there's an error we're going to show it in a message box. So exception x message box that show error um, that plus x dot message okay in the try statement we're going to um, to put the um, uh, the text boxes value in in two variables so string user will be equal to text box one dot text and string pass will be equal to text box two dot text. Okay, here, here we're going to um, create a ASC encoding object. So ASC encoding encoding will be equal to new ASC encoding. Okay, then we're going to uh, write the post data. So string post data will be equal to user is equal to plus user plus um, amp pass is equal to plus pass then we're going to uh, create a byte array so byte data will be equal to data will be equal to encoding dot get bytes so data will be the uh, get bytes post data so okay so byte will be the um, the post request the post um, data. So, okay. so then we're going to create a web request object, but um, we'll be using the system.net. So using system.net, uh, we will also use system.io. So system.io. So web request request will be equal to web request.create, and then we get the uh, PHP script. URL. So okay, this URL, then put it there. So okay, Web request that create. Uh, then but uh, the request method is post. So we're going to use the post method. So request that method is equal to post, and then request dot content type will be equal to application slash x w w dot W forms, you and code okay, like that. So application slash x six w w form you and code it. Okay, request dot content length would be equal to data dot length. So the content length is the post data byte length. Okay, then we're going to um, create a stream object. So stream stream will be equal to request dot get request stream so um, stream will be the the request stream so okay then we're going to write in the stream so stream dot write data so this the post data the offset is zero and the count is data dot length length okay then we're going to close the stream so stream dot close uh, okay here we're going to create a web response so web 
response response will be equal to request dot get response stream uh, get response okay so then we're going to uh, reuse the um, stream object so stream will be equal to response dot get response stream then we're going um, then we're, um, here we're going to create a stream reader, stream reader object. So stream reader sr will be equal to new stream reader stream. So we're going to uh, re uh, read the response streams. Okay. Now we're going to show the response in the message box. So message box dot show sr dot read to n. Okay. So um, the message box will show the um, all the the response. Okay, then we're going to close the stream writer and close the stream. So stream dot close and insert dot close. Okay, now um, I think we could try the code. So um, start without debugging. Um, here we're going to, to write an user and write a password, maybe a shiny and one two three submit. Okay, so uh, let's write shiny and one two three. So um, that's what the uh, PHP script was supposed to do. So user um, double point and pass. Okay, so um, that's all. Um, the code will be fine. Well, uh, we'll be able to find the code in the video description and a paste in the link. And I hope you learned something in this tutorial. And if you like it, the tutorial, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and post a comment. So um, bye.